श्री गुरुचरण कमले भ्यो नम परीक्षित महाराज हर्ड एवरीथिंग इन रिगार्ड्स टू अजामिन देन ही आस्ट श्री सुखदेव गोस्वामी saying that o oh gurudeva all living entities remain under the control of yam dharma raja as per their pious and impious deeds anybody performs any categories of deeds in this creation falls under the control of yamaraj and vishnu dutas came and broke his orders by not letting yamadutas or messengers of yamaraj take the sinner ajamil with them when yamadutas had to go back to yamaraj empty handed and a narrated everything what had taken place in regards to ajamil hearing everything from his messengers what did yamaraj <laughs> say what did yamaraj say he wanted to know actually a disciple's duty is to clear all problems in regards to spirituality from their spiritual master that is the law of spiritual life if spiritual master is physically present they must clear their doubts only spiritual doubts you cannot come to guru and say my gurudev i have this apple can you turn it into orange oh my gurudev we are married now 20 years we cannot have children can you please tell us if we can have children i remember this one devotee his name was vishal american devotee and he took his pregnant wife vishalini her name vishalini i will not forget them she was pregnant and i knew it is the daughter because stomach is so big and he reached brow path paid his obeisances gave him few hundred dollars donation and asked the guru can you please tell if my wife will have a son or a daughter it was in brindavan in india i cannot find out the sex of the child or maybe he found out that i don't know but he asked brow path brow path said oh okay you will have son because he was pushing my guru that my he wanted son so my guru said all right you will have son such kind of material questions are not to be asked to guru <clears throat> everything all doubts must be cleared by disciples in regards to spirituality so parikhit maharaj is wondering what did yamaraj reply to his messengers parikhit was himself a king and he knew the rules of the king and he knew parikhit maharaj knew that yamaraj is the king of hell so disobeying the order of king is equal to killing the king disobeying the order of the spiritual master is equal to killing the guru the spiritual master preventing the wife from come from coming to sleep on the bed your bed that is killing the wife equal to killing the wife you don't kill 
anybody, but it is equal. So, Parikhit Maharaj wondered, because he is a king, so he knows the law should be followed. If don't follow, then you are equal to getting, killing the king. It was the order that Ajamil is a great sinner and he should be brought to hell for appropriate punishment. And they were prevented to be taken. Parikhit Maharaj wanted and asked. It never happened before. Disobeying the order was disobeyed. Order of Yamaraj was disobeyed. It never happened before. It has happened for the first time. So he said, Parikhit Maharaj said to his guru that I had never heard such a thing that nor read anywhere that orders of Yamaraj was not followed. Parikhit Maharaj addressed his guru as a great sage and Muni. Rishi and Muni both, he told, that you please tell me how it happened. He wanted to clear for future generation. Parikhit Maharaj wanted to clear this doubt so in future nobody suspects Yamaraj. He addressed Rishi to his Guru, Sri Sukadev Goswami, because he knew pa past, present and future. Guru means supposed to those days at least, supposed to know present, past and future. And he is addressed as Muni because he is expert in the science of scriptures. He is well versed. Guru should be totally well versed on spiritual science. So when Bisal asked my Guru, about his wife, what kind of child he will have, Prabhupada told because he was pushing that he will, she will have son and he had a daughter. So he went back to Prabhupada. Look, you told you have a son. The such client kinds of disciples are crazy disciples. Guru should not be reached with material questions. You are knower of three, three categories of time, past, present and future. You are expert in Vedic scriptures. In future everybody will know that you know the, you have these two qualities. So if you answer my question now, which I am asking for future generation, people will not doubt Yamaraj. Therefore, please answer my question. <clears throat> what did Yamaraj say to his followers when they went empty-handed and narrated everything to him? Hearing this, Sri Sukadeva Goswami says, <clears throat> when Yamadutas reached Yamaraj being defeated by Vishnu Dutas and narrated everything to their king, Yamaraj. Sri Shukadeva Goswami spoke 
What did Yamaraj say to his followers, Yamadutas? Means in our devotional life chain, in the chain of our disciplic success, and we should not speculate. A guru should never speculate and should not answer questions with using speculation. In our Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya, we do not follow anything, anything which is not supported, evidenced by Vedic scriptures. Vedic scriptures means the scriptures written by Vyasadeva and nobody else's writings are called scriptures. And Vyasadeva wrote scriptures in Sanskrit Devanagari it means any other books written in any other language cannot be called scriptures. So in Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya, the authority in Vaishnavism, any four Sampradayas, authorities are the scriptures written in Sanskrit. They are Vedas, Puranas and Upanishadas, Dharma Shastras, Itihasa, Nyaya Shastra, Vyakarana Shastra, Niti Shastra. All these are called scriptures. Whenever an intelligent person comes near the spiritual master, spiritual master understands, yes, this person is very intelligent, he should be initiated and gives instructions to him or her. Disciple, intelligent disciple is who? The person who keeps the orders of the spiritual master and follows them till their last breath. <clears throat> no one on spiritual path in Bhakti Marga, devotional life, is allowed to follow any speculation or allowed to give instructions based on their speculation. That's why Sri Shukadev Goswami repeats, not speculate. Maybe Yamaraj said like this. No. <laughs> he says what Yamaraj told his followers. Yamaraj is addressed as Sanyamani Pati by Sri Shukadev Goswami. Sanyamani Pati means the leader of a place where lawbrokers are given appropriate punishment to correct them. <laughs> See how it can be defined. It's like an incarcerated place where uh, lawbrokers are correct, correct, corrected. It's called correctional place, like that. Yamadutas are hearing Yamaraj. <clears throat> but before they started hearing, they said to Yamaraj, O Lord, there are three categories of living entities exist on this earth. One is pious doers, those who do pious deeds following scriptures and those who break the scripture law and do impious deeds and there are mixed, do pious and impious in between. They both the kind of deeds they do. They do good things and also do bad things. There are three categories, you said. <laughs> we want to know, Yamadutta said, we want to know there are how many controllers who decide who should be punished in what way and how much. 
if there are more than one deciders of their punishment and reward or rewards then there will be a chaos because the decisions will be made differently because Yamadutas knew the, the Ajamil is a sinner and somebody else took him and they went empty handed so they want to know be a sinner if he punished two different by two more than one person there will be different chaos because the punishment or reward will not be even equal to all of them so they want to know <clears throat> plus they were insulted they felt insulted devotees never insult anyone they speak the truth like i say you cannot initiate if you are not born in a brahmin tradition and a pure devotee you cannot initiate i am not insulting someone i am speaking the truth brahmaneshu itaran varanan gurun mohad karoti yaha sayati narakam ghoram vipanno vibhave dhruvam you took initiation from a non brahmin born pure devotee that's why even though you chant and do devotional service and you read scriptures you will go to hell and after coming back you will become a snake i am not insulting anyone i am not a politician mud slinging going on i quote scriptures गुरु शिष्य उभो लोके अपरीक्ष्य परस्परम दीक्षा ददत दीक्षा ग्रहणत उभो या दिपिशाचता डिसाइपल एंड गुरु बोथ विल बिकम हॉब गॉबलिन्स इफ दे डोंट गो टू हेल बिकॉज गुरु गेव इनिशिएशन ही इज नॉट ऑथोराइज टू गिव इनिशिएशन and disciple took initiation without examining properly if he is authorized to give initiation am i insulting anyone if they are feeling insulted then is their problem i am speaking the truth let them prove i am speaking speculation if they prove i am speaking speculation i will shut my mouth from speaking the truth sure similarly devadutas vishnudutas they never insulted yamadutas but yamadutas felt insulted <laughs> see one has to be yamaduta like person to be insult to feel insulted from a pure devotee or or vishnudutas so they felt insulted and they are saying to yamaraj sir if master cannot protect his followers if the boss cannot protect his employees then he employees should not uh, they should not become servants or followers they should go elsewhere that's what it meant see that is also supported by niti shastra if master cannot protect his followers from going to hell if follower don't want to follow then that is different thing they go to hell for sure guru's duty is to tell the truth and make sure they follow but they don't want to follow even after pushing and chastisement what can you do if i tell a disciple make sure you don't break the law and he breaks the law she breaks the law then what can i do so if leader cannot protect the nyaya shastra says cannot protect their followers then followers can go elsewhere 
and leader should feel to be killed if they don't follow that they are killing me, which is true. Both ways it says. <clears throat> Yamadutas are saying to their master that there are many people who do activities and if there are rewarders, many of them, there will be chaos. And if there are rewarders, many of them, then there is no, they are not called leaders, they are called sub-leaders, like an emperor under whom there are many kings or departmental heads. So they have carried no value. So if there is, there are many leaders to decide everybody's activity because everybody does something, some kind of deeds. There are many, so they are not actual leaders. <clears throat> they want to know. <clears throat> they said, O oh Lord, we thought that you are the leader. Under you, everybody's activities fall. You are the person who decides for everyone. You are their controller, we thought. You are the supreme controller of everyone, we thought. You are the decider of who should be rewarded, who should not be rewarded, who should be punished, and how much. O oh Lord, <clears throat> Till today, nobody could dare break what your decisions. You decided to catch that fellow, we brought him, nobody could prevent. But there is sudden something suddenly happened there, <clears throat> which was very stunning to us that these four armed, four people, four armed, beautiful looking Siddhas, he called them. Yamadutas called Vishnudutas Siddhas. I will explain to you. Until then, we thought that you are the Supreme Lord. As soon as the word Narayana came, when we were pulling him, Narayana came from the mouth of their sinner Azamil, suddenly, instantly, very moment, four armed people, four of them, perfect beings, descended there, shouting, don't fear, don't fear, and prevented us, stopped us, immediately, not touch the person. We want to know, Yamadutta said, how it could happen so quickly. Yamadutta called these four of them perfect beings, Siddhas, perfect beings, because unless one is truly perfect and purified, cannot go to the spiritual world. No liberation is allowed means those who are liberated, they are called perfect beings. And those who descend from the spiritual world, because they are perfect beings, they are addressed as perfect beings. Unless one becomes perfect and spiritual path totally, cannot function as a spiritual master to help others to achieve liberation. Hearing such things, Sukadeva Goswami says further, Yamaraj told. Sukadeva Goswami repeats what Yamaraj said. He did not speculate. Yamaraj started speaking. First he paid his obeisances to the Supreme Lord and contemplating his pastimes, contemplating within him, about him, he speaks. 
Oh dear messengers, I am under the control of, control of the Supreme Lord. You had thought I am the Supreme Controller and I had kept quiet, did not prevent you. I am not the Supreme Best. Beyond me there is Supreme Lord. Who told me to act as a king for this planet? I am here. The Supreme Lord whom I pray is everywhere, all, all omnipresent. He is woven like a thread into the cloth, his creation. He is woven in this creation like that a thread in the cloth. <clears throat> Due to fear of him, his manifestations like Lord Brahma, creates. Lord Vishnu takes care, maintains. Lord Shiva destroys due to fear of him. He controls the whole creation. Everything is ultimately is under him. Just like a farmer, we are like our situation is like that of a farmer who, who ties his bull harnessing to the cart, his cart, to carry something. He ties first his bull with a small thinner thread, thinner rope. And then after time with thin ropes, then he ties a little more bigger rope and then to the big rope to control him, harnessing in this way. Similarly, the Supreme Lord does everything. First he created human beings and to control human beings he created four social orders. Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya and Sudra and controlled other three by Brahmana, using Brahmanas. Brahmanas guide three of them. And then he created four ashramas to control these four orders, social orders. He created four ashramas to control social orders. That is Brahmachari, Grihastha, Bana, Pratha, Sanyas. One controls another one like that. Then he controlled, then he created sages and saintly people to control these spiritual orders. And then created demigods to control the sages. And then he created the controllers, the higher leader demigod, leading demigods to control the demigods. Then he created, he manifested the Brahma to control them. Then he controls. This way all this chain works. See, Sukadev Goswami is not speculating, he is repeating what Yamaraj says like that. <clears throat> Seven sages also fall in this, who control the demigods, like that. <clears throat> Yatoba Imani Bhutani Jayanti, everybody has come from him, everyone, all living entities, creatures have come from him, all categories of living entities, all came from him. So, everybody came from him, then how he is controlling? Maya dhakkhena prakriti suyate sacharacharam. See, he controls them through material nature, three modes of material nature, which is controlled by material nature. Three modes and then material nature. Then, 
यदा यदा ही धर्म शक्ला निर्भवते भारत अभ्युत्थानम धर्म शत्तदात्मानम सुरजा he himself by his own accord descends in this world to make sure that everybody follows his law. law breakers are punished and law followers are protected like that <clears throat> so when he will do what nobody can know when that person supreme lord will do what nobody can predict that's why it says muhyanti yat suraya even the great learned sages and saintly people even lord brahma becomes bewildered very difficult to know him who will know him is a question yes somebody will know him lord himself says who will know him see lord brahma had four heads lord shiva has five heads see they don't know him so who will know him na god says who will know him he says yatatam api siddhanam kaschin maam beeti tatvatah one has to become a perfect being first one has to become totally perfect being then out of thousands of perfect beings hardly one knows Lord Krishna in truth. So hardly one knows me in truth. God says, Krishna says, in Bhagavad Gita. Knowing Krishna in truth is not that easy. Jai Krishna Tattva Veta Sai Guru Hai. This is in Bengali. Bengali is a language in India. same sanskrit is used there tattvaveta he never says there even in bengali that only one who knows about krishna can become guru no one who knows krishna in truth can function as guru that's what the meaning of that in bengali too is mistranslated like they say jesus is god today after 2000 years they are saying like that but jesus never says he's god he said i am the son of god my father lives in the heaven similarly it is happening now they are mistranslating saying the one who knows about krishna he can function as guru he or she look at this they are breaking the law age old law established by god God himself established the Vedic law and they are breaking it even Bengali says tattva veta here god says in the bhagavad gita tattva veta tattva veta one has to know in truth how to know in truth one has to become totally perfect red hot fire no smoke in it then it is possible so Sudhir Goswami is repeating what what uh, Yamaraj says. See, I am getting old. Yamaraj says, Yamaraj is telling, you may wonder, O oh Yamadutas, O oh my messengers, you may wonder, God is everywhere. Then he appears on the planet. Why we don't see him? No, no, you cannot see. God is also within your heart. Hrdeh Jaran Tirthi. He is sitting in your heart as a super soul, as a witness. But you cannot see. Just like your eyes see whole your body, you see your, your all your limbs, but the limbs don't see back the eyes. Similar is the situation of God. God is seeing everyone. You cannot see Him because you are not perfect. यम श्याम सुंदरम अचित्य गुण स्वरूपम 
Shyam Sundar is everywhere. Only Premangana Churidabya Bhakti Bilochan and only great devotees see him. One who has anointed their eyes with the pure love or spiritual life and perfection. O oh, Yamdut, O oh, my messengers, I stay under his control. I am his control. And those who are his messengers don't feel upset. You are safe. Knowing him is not that easy. And knowing him is very easy if you want to know. That's what it means. Thank you very much.